Hi there, Toby Lipinski with the Fisherman Magazine, and today uh, I'm going to be showing you how I rig an eel skin plug. Uh, basic, traditional method of targeting striped bass, a little extra adornment you got for your plugs. You can add an eel skin to just about any type of plug you already fishing. Metal lip, darter, needlefish, plastic swimmer. But today, for our purposes, I'm gonna be rigging up a Conrad style plug. And I was gonna rig one up today anyway. I figured, hey, why not do a little quick little video and show you how I do it. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get the plug ready. I'll begin by wetting it. It makes it a lot easier to slide into the skin. So we take your skin, basically just insert it down in, or excuse me, run it right over the plug. You need an absolutely massive eel in the first place to uh, get your skins ready for these kind of plugs, but it is well worth it if you can find the source. All right, so I take the plug run it down you're basically what you want is despite the fact that this is a 24 28 inch eel skin we're actually only going to use about the last let's say eight or nine inches of it so we get it all set up here we've got it roughly to that point I can move my bucket of skins out of the way all right so we've got the skin here we go roughly the right length it's uh, I like them to be just shy of the front hook hanger. It's a long skin, but I'll show you how we deal with that in a moment. So we got it. We're gonna basically pinch off right where that's gonna end and trim the skin up. Slide the plug out. Grab a good pair of scissors. I'm gonna come in here. I add a little bit extra just to be safe. And we cut it. Slide them back in again. Make sure we didn't mess this up. <laughs> and it looks about right. Okay. So, yep, that's really, that's right where we're going to want that to end up. The final product is going to look just like that. So we can discard the extra chunk of skin, set it aside. Now what I'm going to do is take a piece of brass toilet chain. So this is what I use. You can use anything on the tail end of the skin, brass toilet chain, heavy monofilament, zip tie, whatever you happen to have. And what I do is I kind of line it up, figure out roughly where it's going to end up. You want it just shy of the end. So it looks like one, two, three, we'll go with four complete rings. I'm going to clip off a section here. Set that aside. Now we take a split ring, put that on one side, pull the skin out, attach it to the tail of the plug. All right, We're ready to drop her back in. Again, help the Keep wetting it, just slides in and out of the skin a little better. Gonna double check it all lines up right. One last time before we secure the skin. All right. Now you can fish them, reverse skin out, dark side out, whichever you'd like. In general, I throw the lighter side, um, but uh, it works both ways, sort of a personal preference, whatever you like to do. So we look like we're pretty good. We're lined up all right. So now, I'm going to secure the skin to the head. Now if you notice, you can see right there, it's a bit of a groove. That's going to help to lock that skin in place. But I will say, a groove is not necessary. You can either, you can either add a groove with a file after the fact, or you can just skip it and just simply attach right into the head of the plug. If there's a little bit of a slope, even better but the skin is absolutely not necessary. All right, so I just take some standard rigging floss here, and we're gonna tie the floss right around the neck of the plug where you saw that groove. 
All right, so we get the floss ready. And it's important to use a waxed rigging floss here as it grips down and does not let go of the skin. It won't come loose once you've tied it in place. So as you can see, you kind of pinch it on, swing it around and it tightens up. Make sure, whoops, make sure, here's a good example, that the skin is completely covered. You don't want any of that skin behind the groove and you're not. All right, there we go, that's better. Okay, so we just continue tightening it down. This skin actually might be a hair big, but it'll get the job done for us. All right, so the skin's on there. I'm gonna tighten it down. Quick little square knot. Square knot, good to go. Now you can throw some super glue or what have you on that knot if you want, but really with the wax, it's not coming apart. Trim off the excess. And it's just about done. However, we need to still attach the hook. So, what I do here is on the belly, line up where that hook, I wanna make sure it's, that skin is fully stretched out, figure out where the hook lines up with the seam on the bottom of the skin. And I come in here and just make a very small incision with a sharp, sharp razor blade. The smaller the hole, the better. You want it to just fit through. You want that swivel to just barely fit through. And there we go, she's all rigged. Last step is to come in with a hook. So in this case, I'm running a 4-aught 5X Mustad. Just a single, that's all you need on there is one hook. Thread it on, and we are ready to go. So now I'm gonna head on down to the water and show you what it looks like. Well, there you go. You got to see how to rig up an eel skin plug. Then we went out and test swam it. You got to see what it looks like underwater. Last step is perhaps the most debated subject when it comes to an eel skin plug, and that is storage. First off, when I get back, this is how I do it. And when I get back from a night of fishing, I take the skin, I rinse it in some clean, fresh water, soak it, get all of that salt and grime, as much as I can at least, out of the skin shake off the excess, then I take a heavy Ziploc bag. In this case, it's small plug, so I've got just a one quart size. I'm gonna take some kosher salt. Scoop a bunch of the salt into your bag, and I'm basically gonna make a salt paste, if you will. So I start off, as you can see, we got a good amount of salt in here. I'm gonna add just enough water so it's, it's, it's damp. It's not soaking wet, um, almost consistency of maybe uh, snow, if you will. And you kind of keep messing around until you get just the right mixture. Add some more salt. Really, you can never have too much of this mixture uh, as it's going to eventually come off on the plug as you go along. So we've kind of got it. You can just see, again, kind of like snow snowball mixture. And I take the plug. Drop it right into the bag. Do my best not to puncture the bag with the hooks. Make sure that the salt covers every bit of the skin. Seal it up. Throw it in the fridge. Some fishermen I know will just throw it into the freezer. Some of them will put them into a tray. Um, I find this method for me prov provides Good seal, it holds the moisture in, the skin doesn't dry out, my hooks don't rust, works pretty good for me. Again, you kinda adjust that mixture till you get it just right. 
All right, well, there you have it. I hope you learned a couple of things today, figured out how to use and how to rig up an eel skin. You got to see just what it does to a plug to make it so appealing to striped bass. So for more information like this, additional how-to, where-to type videos, be sure to head on over to thefisherman.com and check out our entire Fisherman Magazine library and be sure to sign up for a subscription to the Fisherman Magazine while you're there.